This is the Alter Star Wave 101. It's practically a 4 inch refractor. It's one of those refractors that is similar to the Lyra 101 also. And uh, it's practically a Fraunhofer refractor, meaning that F11 means that this telescope doesn't have, this refractor doesn't have any chromatic abrasion or it is very minimal. Uh, and only visible probably in very high power also. Uh, it has a dual speed Crayford focuser, graded uh, draw tube. Love the aluminium uh, knobs and CNC uh, um, cut uh, rings. I've installed it on the uh, Omni XLT series CG4. This is for a Celestron Omni uh, refract um, SCT camera, uh, SCT camera, yeah, telescope camera. And uh, it's really takes it. You can take this one. I'm sure that you can take even a heavier one. And uh, I'm going to observe the tonight, God willing, some of the low galaxies the object of course the the dust cap the dew shield is uh, retractable this is the objective lens Put the D shield back and it can come forward again. Just wanted to show you one or two millimeter actually. Star wave, achromatic, doublet, SH0055. It's quite nice telescope actually. I have a lighter version of this. This is red. So. It's a beautiful telescope to use. Okay, I'm using the Alter Star Wave uh, 102 millimeter um, doublet achromatic refractor, and I'm looking at the M51 uh, pair of galaxies with the. Uh, First, I use the uh, Meet Super Puzzle 56, then Panaview 38 mm 70 degrees, and now I'm using the uh, Teleview Etis 13 mm. And when you look with this, of course, you can see the galaxy, the halo, but spiral arms for that you have to use the Dapsonium, which is the you appreciate your Dapsonium when you have. <laughs> and you look with this, you compare it with that. Dapsonian is really a powerful tool, that 12 inch one. Scope Watcher Skyliner 300p. <coughs> well, I was looking there and I saw this uh, junk, uh, Elon Musk junk uh, called the Starlink, passing one after another near the M51. <laughs> this guy, I think this is really, uh, uh, there must be something more than the, what they say. It's not for internet, this is just a space junk and uh, we, uh, there is another use for it for them. It is not for internet. I mean, if you believe that, uh, <laughs> practically, <laughs> must be. Yeah, I don't want to make a comment here. But anyway, space junk. There is something more than what it says on the tin. Okay, I'm looking now at the. Um, M13 Global Cluster with the uh, Altair Star Wave and the 13mm Aetis. Uh, it's a fuzzy ball. Uh, if you look carefully, at some moments you can see some individual stars near the center also. and uh, But you cannot be sure really. You need a bigger aperture for seeing the, what you want to see.
So again, uh, good telescope for planetary viewing, moon and double star. For deeper sky object, I think that you can use it, but it's, uh, it's limited. So if you want to really see more details, you need a big Dapsonia and a light bucket, like a 12-inch Dapsonia that I have there covered under the cover. Yeah, definitely with diverted vision, you can see the stars in the M13, you can divide some of the stars. You cannot in individually be focusing on any one of them, only in diverted vision, not direct vision, you can see them. Wow. And this um, million, 9 millimeter, 100 degrees, it's resolved all the stars of the M13 to the core. <laughs> and every target it's it's brilliant.